Bolton Uralt Natchatrube. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got one here from Northern Germany and it is the Bolton's Ur Alt Natur Troop. This is an Alt beer. If you don't know what Alt beer is, it is a dark beer from the north or northwest of Germany. It's unique to that sort of area. It is apparently sold all over Germany now, according to a mate. I've got a mate who lives in a place called Munsterlager. And that, of course, is a, a region that does sell out. The Altbeer region is northwest of Germany. And up until a certain few years ago, which sort of escapes me at the moment, it wasn't really sold outside of that region in the rest of Germany. Now it's become a little bit more popular and you can get some of the more popular Altbeer brands that are around in Germany. You've got Diebels who are quite well known. You also have Slurscher who do a really good Alt beer. I've reviewed that on the channel. I've reviewed the Diebels on the channel as well. I have also reviewed the Alt beer from Bolton and that I have to say was probably the best Alt beer I'd tasted. So what's the difference between this and the Alt beer, the other Alt beer that Bolton's do. Well, the clue's there, it says Natur Troop. So this is the unfiltered version. In theory, that should have more flavor. And I'd be really intrigued to see if it has or not, because I'll tell you something, that, that um, Bolton's Alt, the other one I, I reviewed on the channel, for me, that was the best. That was the best one I'd tried so far. Now, if you're wondering what Alt beer is, if you're wondering whether you'd like it or not, put it this way. If you're a fan of dark beers, if you're a fan of, you know, if you like your British beers, your ruby ales, your, your dark style ales, you're going to love Alts beer. It really is a lovely style of beer. Sadly, though, it's not that popular. Outside of Germany, if you ask somebody, unless they're really into their beers, Unless you asked, you know, a person who had knowledge of German beer, your average drinker in a pub wouldn't know what Alt beer is. And of course, Alt translates to old in English. And there's a reason for that. Boltons are one of the oldest Alt beer, well, they are the oldest Alt beer brewer, but they're one of the oldest breweries in Germany. They've been going since 1266. Now, if you want some context for that, that's 200 years after the Battle of Hastings. Now, for me, that is a, a company with some heritage, and they've been going ever since then. However, as I say, Altbeer really is an, an unknown style in this country. Yeah, you do get some people who know what it is, and believe it or not, a lot of ex-squaddies will know what it is because they drank Alt beer when they were doing their tours in Germany. Obviously, the, there's no British bases in Germany, at, you know, now. They've all been, I think they were disbanded in 2006, but the first time I ever heard the phrase Alt beer was from an ex-squaddie. It was one of my mates, Paul. He was in the artillery, I think he was, in, but he was based in Germany. And he said, you have to try Alt beer. He said, it is the, one of the best styles of beer. And I never knew what it was. I just thought he was making it up. Because Alt, I knew Alt translated to old, but that was as far as it got. And I said, what's so special about it? And he says, I can't explain it. You need to try it. I have tried it, and I really like it. But don't get me wrong, it is quite hit and miss. There are some very, very average Alt beers that, to me, taste like... How would I describe it? I wouldn't say John Smith's, they weren't that bad. But it tastes like a very, very average British beer. 
but when you get a good one, it really is good. And I'm hoping this, because as I say, the, the normal Alps beer was really nice. And this stuff is the unfiltered stuff. This has been going since 1991. They decided that they wanted to change the, well not change it, but to try and enhance the already good Alp beer that they had. They thought, well, what can we do? Well, let's not filter it. And that's what they've done here. Now they do a Vison. And I have to make a comment about this because I've reviewed the Vison on the channel as well. And I don't know what was going through their minds, but they thought they could brew a Vison but use the yeast from an Alps beer. And in my opinion, it didn't work. It didn't have any of the characteristics of a German Weizen. Not at all. There was no banana, no clove. And I didn't get it, to be honest. So that was a, a bit of a downer for me. They're still producing it, and obviously people like it because the Germans are very, very loyal to their local brewers. But that didn't work for me. So I'm hoping, and that was the last one I tried from them, so I'm hoping this one is gonna be a good one. So let's stop guessing and let's just investigate this beer. Right, Bolton's Nature Troupe. It is a 4.9% beer, it's a 500 ml bottle. It is an unfiltered Alf beer. There is the label. usual caper of course it conforms to the Reinheitsgebot but it does contain wheat which is unusual but yeah Gersten malt and Weizen malt which is unusual I'm imagining that's going to give it some body but these have got quite a bit in common with British beers as well you know British as I say you know if you're a fan of British beers you your dark British beers you are going to love Alps beer well you're going to love the good Alps beer and this contains wheat. And to be honest, in British beers, dark beers especially, you do get wheat on occasion, and that just gives it more body. And it's perfectly understandable. It's allowed in the Reinheitsgebot, so who am I to argue? So let's get it open and let's see what's going on. Right, I'll flip this up. Oh, that sound is so satisfying. Now I'm going to keep this bottle because my mate is a home brewer and he said if you've got them flip top bottles they are the best bottles, especially the brown ones because obviously your beer won't go light struck and it will last a lot longer. So let's get it into the glass. Now I'm drinking it out of a, a pint glass and to be honest they're normally drunk out of wide glasses or you know, wide at the top glasses, but this is yeah, this is perfectly acceptable for a, an Alps beer. What are we getting on the nose? Oh my good god, that smells absolutely gorgeous. Roasted toffee malt, sweet roasted toffee malt. It smells gorgeous, and a little bit of hot bitterness on there. Yeah, that is really nice. That does smell good, I have to say. And it looks good too. Now let me get the rest of it in the glass and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Again, as I say, this has got a lot in common with British beer. But just look at that. When I say British beer, brown ale especially, it's got quite a nutty aroma on it too. Yeah. Caramel, a little bit of toffee, but in a blindfold test, I would say that this particular Alp beer is very much like a brown ale. Oh, that does smell good. And I mean really good. If only we in this country could produce stuff like this. Now we do some good stuff, don't get me wrong. But if somebody produced a brown ale, and I'll tell you what, I'm saying that this does remind me of the Sam Smith's Nut Brown Ale. It's got that real nutty type aroma to it. However, the proof, as always, is in the tasting. So let's get this down the hatch. Pfft. 
Prost, as I say in Germany. Oh, that's lovely. That is superb. That is really, really good. That is a cross to me. That is a cross between a brown ale and a bitter. Even the finish is bitter and it's got masses of earth and spice with roasted nutty flavours. That's really good, I have to say. Now I did know that the the, the Alts beer, the normal Alts that they did, the, the filtered version was nice, but fuck me, I think they've just excelled themselves here. There it is in the glass, have a look at that. So it's murky, it's cloudy. There is floaters in there. Floaters from Bolton. I don't believe it is, it's floating. But you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I can see some of the yeast sediment and they do make a point, can you see this? There is floaters in there. They do make a point of saying this is exactly how it comes out of the lagering barrels and it's a bottom fermented beer so it's going to have the drinkability of a lager. Oh that is so good. But a lovely bit of finish on it. That tastes so British, it could be any good quality, and I mean real good quality, British bitter or brown ale. That is superb. And I can see why this was popular with squaddies, especially the, the northern squaddies who were used to drinking bitters and dark beer, because you wouldn't be able to get that over in, over in Germany, you wouldn't be able to get bitters anyway. But this, I'll tell you something, I know this was only, this has only been going since 1991, but I do remember this type of flavour on the Alt beer, the normal Alt that they do. But my mate Paul, he, obviously not a, not a northerner, he was, he's from London, he's, where was he from? Um, he supported Arsenal, he was a North London boy, but he was in the army for, I think it was four years, five years, based in Germany. And he drank this all the time because he loved his bitters and he said you know you have to try out beer and as i say there is some really average out beer that i wouldn't give a second look to but boltons for me i think are the best out beer brewers and this stuff i think is probably the best and i said this about their normal out but i think this bit this out beer I think this just eclipses it because it just reminds me of good British beer. Now, I know I shouldn't be saying that about a German beer, but if the Germans ever attempted to do a British beer, you know, this would be this would be it. And I'll tell you something, this would take some beating. It is really good. The flavour is just, it's just huge. Nice, earthy, bitter, black pepper finish from the, from the hops that have gone in there. But the malt are what does it for me. And that is what, that is the big thing about the, the Alt beer. There is a mass of caramel and toffee malt. But if you can just imagine a nutty type flavour running through all that which sort of puts you in mind of a brown ale. And brown ales tend to be a little bit sweeter than this. So you're getting the best of both worlds. On the, on the sort of palate, it's like a, a brown ale, a really good brown ale. As good as the Sam Smith's nut brown ale. And for me, that is the best brown ale I've tasted, in my opinion. But this is up there with it on the palate. 
but the finish you just transform completely to another style and that is a really good traditional English bitter because it's got them them noble hops which you know if done right they can get that really earthy and black peppery style bitterness which is again characteristic of most North German beers you do get that bitter finish even on the Pilsners I mean that's what separates the the German Pilsners from the or the North German Pilsners from the, the Southern German Pilsners and the Czech Pilsners as well. North German Pilsners are unmistakable. They have that intense bitterness. If you've ever tried the Jever or the uh, Flensburger, you know, they're the two, for me, the standout North German Pilsners. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a typical North German beer with an English twist to it. And now I know they never set out for it. They were brewing beer before before a lot of established British brewers were doing it, but I have to say, this is a fucking cracker. But I knew Boltons were good anyway. The Weizen wasn't good. If you like German wheat beer, don't go for their Weizen. But this stuff, fucking hell, this is amazing. Even the aromas, just the aromas as you're drinking, just, if anything, they're getting more intense. Oh, I love it. That is superb. What's the verdict on Bolton's Ur Alt? I'll tell you something. I think that probably has to go down as one of the best Alt beers I've tasted. And I said it about their, their normal Alt or their filtered Alt beer. But I think they've I think they've surpassed themselves a bit here. There's more intense flavour. Now, this may not be for everybody, but if you are a fan of English brown ale, and I don't mean the shitty Newcastle brown stuff, I mean the quality stuff that comes from Sam Smith's. If you're a fan of really good quality bitters, if you're a fan of ruby ales, well, maybe not ruby ales, no, this is more of a brown ale, to be fair. But if you do like your bitters as well, you are going to love that. And I have to say, all things considered, that is the best out beer I've tried so far. And as I say, their stuff was second. The Slurcher stuff is really good. Who's the other one? There's another one. Diebel's wasn't bad. But this for me is head and shoulders above everything else. And that is going to get a 10 out of 10. That is definitely recommended. I recommend the other out beer that they do, the filtered out beer, that's really nice. Avoid the Vizen, I don't think that's that good. But this stuff, yeah, this is quality stuff. And remember, beer is working class champagne.